Good evening everyone. I am making a short video on a very pathetic thing that is going on among our parents, our mothers, our fathers in Africa, in Africa especially. And this is the issue of cursing a child. This is the issue of cursing a child. How would you open your mouth and tell your child that it will never be well with you and you are still paying the school fee of that child, hoping that one day this child will make it in life? How grieved will you be as a parent to open your mouth and tell your child that you are a madman? The same child you carried for in your womb for nine months. Or if you are the father, the same child you have been taking care of right from his infant age or our infant age. We are so busy cursing our children, yet we we'll go to churches, we we'll go to the mosques, we we'll try to pray for a very good future for them. When we have used our tongues to condemn them, when we have used our tongues to destroy them. So parents will look at their children and say, because of what you have done to me, it will never be well with you. Have you forgotten that there is power in the tongue? There is power of life and death in the tongue. And whatever you say today, you might never be able to take it back again. This is how a lot of parents have destroyed their own children with their own hands. We go up and down seeking for ways to break curses that we made for ourselves. Today, a lot of parents have gone to their graves with the destiny of their children because of their mouth, because of their unforgiving spirit, because of the ignorance. You see children going up and down, looking for pastors, looking for imams, looking for abalists to break curses that has been put upon them, that has been laid upon them by their own parents, their mothers, their fathers. You can imagine some they will go out as early as 5 o'clock in the morning, some women. They will be naked, holding their breasts and swearing for their children that it will never be well with you, provided I was the one that gave birth to you. How would it be well with that child? The child that you poured blood on the very day you gave birth to. And you and I know that there is no bond stronger than the bond of love, of blood. There is an attachment that comes from there. If you open your mouth and swear for your child, you have already killed your child. So this is why this video is pointing out to the fact that a lot of people are the witches and the wizards in the life of their children. Yet we we'll go and sit every Sunday. We we'll go and sit in the mosque. That we are praying. That we are praying for a good life. That we are praying for the destiny of our children. Yet we have destroyed it with our mouths. We have laid curses upon them. Yet, you watching this video, if you have ever looked at your child and said it will never be well with you. If you have ever looked at your child and said you fool. If you have ever looked at your child and said you would never amount to anything in life. If you have ever looked at your child and said you bastard. You good for nothing. You are already rewriting the destiny of that child. And you are the witch in the life of that child. If that child is praying for the witch to die, then you are the one that he or she is praying for. Most at times, curses that are being laid by parents is the reason why children are being nothing in life. That ch um, children are amounting to nothing in life. They are fugitives. They are touts in the streets. Children that are with bright destiny are being reduced to nothing just because of the anger of their parents. Please, stop cursing your child. Show them love. Speak into their lives. If they provoke you, you can be angry with them and punish them, but do not ever curse them because you will regret it. And when the nemesis will begin to come, you might not know that you are the curse. You might not know that you are the origin of their problem. Bless them every morning. Pray for them. Speak positive things into their life. Think positive about them. When they offend you, punish them but draw them close with the other hand. And with this, God will surely bless your children and the sky shall be their starting point thank you very much my name is sonny otini